Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And I've been thinking about this on and off for a couple months, but we live in this interesting time where there is liberty without morality. And this is something that you can see get played out in various facets in American culture. But I consider myself an extremely liberty-minded person. And one of my several very large gripes with the Libertarian Party in this nation is that they would like to continue that trend of liberty unrestrained by morality. Liberty, for liberty's sake, without a common high trust culture that is restrained by public morality and social mores, is not, contrary to most what most people would say, a good thing. Currently in our culture, you've seen this get played out in a variety of ways, but just to pick one example would be Drag Queen Story Hour. Uh, men who dress up like women, wanting to read books to local children at their local library because bad reasons. And that, to me, is a great snapshot of this discussion where you can have liberty, you can wear whatever clothes you want, and you can pretend to be whatever you want, but when it's unrestrained by morality, it gets off into some super weird, super questionable places extremely quickly. The Founding Fathers were very clear on this topic that the, the, the liberty and the government that they instituted was made for a Christian people. Now, you can bluster at that all you want because that's ridiculous and whatever, but that's the fact of the matter. They made it for a people that were guided by the morality of the Bible. Now, whether or not you assent to that exactly or you believe in Jesus or anything like that is irrelevant insofar as the government that you live in was designed to be governed by a biblical morality, which was the fabric that kept the nation together. The constitution of the government does not keep this nation together. A, a constitution or a government has never kept a nation together, ever. Nations have most often in history been bound by some kind of ethnic or blood tie. America is radically different in that our founding thing that binds us together is not an ethnic tie, but it's a set of ideals. And included in that set of ideals is a set of morality. Obviously, there are a variety of different ways that the Founding Fathers would be horrified by today's current America. But one of them, and I think probably one of the more sneaky ones that you wouldn't see coming, is the fact that there is no public morality. Now, does that mean that we should go back to living in Pleasantville, right? And, and then that's the kind of world we need to live in? Maybe, maybe not. But what I'm really saying here is that without a guiding principle of morality, you cannot have a successful nation with liberty in it. Liberty in and of itself is not a moral value. It will not tell you how therefore you should live. What it will tell you is what you can do. However, it will not tell you what you should do. And that is where a public morality to guide and shelter and foster liberty is very, very important. So I hope that's some food for thought for you, and I hope that makes you look at the whole debate just a little bit differently. Do brave deeds and endure.